Hello, hello to the amazing people, the Nehmer here, and welcome to another episode of Tainted Grail Conquest, an epic uh, deck builder slash RPG narrative game with roguelite elements. I'm enjoying it a lot. Right now I'm playing the Apostate on difficulty 12, we are in Act 3, I'm playing really greedy, <laughs> lots of nice stuff are happening. If you want to check out this round from the start, you can find the playlist in the comment in the description below. And it's gonna get you to the start of this run and you can scroll up and see all the episodes You can watch it from the start when I was just a noobish player a little bit less noobish now also welcome to the channel I play a long series of games. I truly really enjoy so find your favorite one watch it enjoy it like subscribe all that good stuff And let's jump into the next fight here um, Let's see so we got a juggernaut Okay, we definitely want to kill that fast and then we got another weird bear just like we had the last uh, the last time and then this is our uh, this is our hand right now <laughs> a little bit scary looking at all the damage going our way at least we have a smoke shot so if i stun this thing things will be looking kind of all right um okay let's use the candle right away before i forget there we go didn't I add a, another item to my things here? Oh, I forgot again. Really? No way. Okay, so this is definitely good. So I want to one shot this thing with a... Um... Okay, I'm thinking here we go idea into maybe faints, right? So it's free. What is this? No, that's just like not very interesting right now. We can just keep the idea for the next turn. I'm not sure if this will be enough, though. Yeah, they hit up to 44. We can go with this. This would be give me, like, what? It almost feels like I'm going to have to play... Yeah. That I'm going to have to play the feints. That's 30. Well, actually, they hit up to 38. If I want to keep 2 mana for next round, which is probably a good idea. Do we take up to 8 damage in, um, into my face? I think that's fine. Let's do it. Let's do it. Do it! So now we're going to draw 6 extra cards because of my rune. So things will become a little bit more comfy. There we go. Right, look at my cards! <laughs> good. So now I just want to clean this one up. Um... Okay, this one's actually hitting for quite a lot. 70 to 85. What's up with that? I have no idea. It's a lot, though. Uh, right, there's hope. Duplicate next plate card, but my stunning idea is now on the wrong side, so that's not gonna work out. However, however. Let's get one energy here. I'm gonna do some crazy stuff this turn. The only question is... Like, how much do we kill here? I've definitely... Like... Ooh, I have an idea. We can get lots of consumables in this fight, actually. So, we get the greedy strike up, we'll one-shot the weird bear, and then we turn all of these into consumables. That's gonna be beautiful. This will be splitting up. Okay, okay. I'm ready for this. Okay, this will be a long and hard fight, but it's gonna pay off in the end, I promise. Okay, so. Let's get our armor up. There we go. Now they, now you don't look that scary, do you? No, well, no one does really. <sighs> right, I can redraw with this. That's probably a good idea. Mm. Yeah. Let's see bombardment. Well, not yet, not now. Okay, let's get one energy here. Okay, what's this? I didn't see it. Okay. That's good. What's your armor? 35. I mean, I could strip its armor. We got ending time. We got this thing. I don't have my stun shot. Okay, there's that. And yeah, my stun sh shot is here. So I can take it out with the arrow back if I want to. Mm, stunning the bear would be good. We can also take anything out with Tactic Master. That's probably the way to go, right? I mean, I can do this for free. So let's do it. I mean, we're probably gonna grab some... Um, yeah, let's just play that. I think I wanna get rid of the Demon Strength also. I think it's like... 
did its thing. Okay, this thing will get everything to be super cheap in my next hand, so we can do some miracles here. Let's stun the bear because I don't want him to debuff. I don't know what that is, but uh, I also don't want to find out. Okay. Definitely playing hidden potential. Okay. Okay, we got the feints for free, so let's play it. Okay, what's that? Flipping spree. Okay, that's just for drawing cards. Okay, play that. <laughs> it's so easy to reduce their 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 armor now. It's so incredible. I love it. Um What's this? Duplicate every seventh maneuver plate. So next maneuver plate will get duplicated. Okay, that's pretty cool. I could turn all my cards in hand, get a little bit of extra damage. It's nothing super crazy, but I wonder if I want to play this first. No, I don't think so. Yeah, it's a little bit weird, but okay. What's this? Yeah, we'll probably just won't show that thing with that. Okay, turn everything around. Now this one will get duplicated. Now this will shred my armor. Can I take it? Ah, I can take it. I have enough barrier, right? So it will shred my armor only for this turn. Ah, it's okay. Right. Uh, then uh, let's see. What's this? If you played more than five maneuvers, nice. Okay. I can play idea into like something like this. That seems pretty good. What's this? Like, things keep, like, <laughs> triggering. You can play that. Okay. So now both of my things are on the wrong side. Exhaustion side up, yeah. But, next flip, everything gets turned around again. Great. This is crazy. <laughs> and I can play hidden potential again. Look at my mana. Like I'm already going infinite on the normal fight. Uh, it's so good. Right. So well, now I can kill this thing. I wonder if there's a world where we shred its armor and kill it first while this thing is still alive. Seems like such a crazy idea, though. No, it's just not. There we go, bye bye. Now. So now next goal is to get my damage multiplier up enough so we can actually one shot the, the, the bear with greed. In order to do that, I'll need to like... Uh... Okay, let's play this. What's that? Duplicate every seventh maneuver played. Okay, so the next maneuver is gonna get played twice. I mean, I can do this, I guess, but it's like a little bit scary. Yeah, it's very scary, but this armor malice will go away next round. What's this? Okay. Um. Okay, I can play stunning idea, reduce their armor by quite a lot. So yeah, next goal is to kill this, right? Right. Nah, it's good. I mean... I could use toxic shots, just for it to happen a little bit faster. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, I'm gonna like get a little bit less cash here, but... Uh, it will speed it up by a lot. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, the stunning idea, bam. There we go. And then I think we just end the turn here. And then we draw our whole deck again and see, oh, this thing got armor. Plus 25 armor for every ally. Oh, that's annoying. So what is this at right now? Yeah, that's really not where I need it to be. That's really not where I need it to be. So I can keep doing the idea and the shred thing. 
I mean, there's nothing really stopping me. Although I do need some armor. Okay, and play idea and then the shred. There you go. Oh, I know why he got armor. He lost the armor debuff from the... Okay, I'm gonna draw six extra cards next turn. I hope that's enough. Looks kind of enough. I mean, we can stun it now also. What is the damage of the greedy strike now? I really wanna, okay. 35 to 53. That seems very low, actually. Yeah, because like we didn't do many turns, so my base is not really that much. Okay, let's see something. Uh, let's play the hidden potential. And then, okay, we don't have one more. I mean, I can play idea into glimpse, I guess. What's this? Duplicate every seventh maneuver played. Okay, the next thing I play will be duplicated, so that's a little bit scary. So I guess I should do this now then. And then play this. Okay, I need armor, actually, for these two. Okay, so now this thing does what? 170 to 255. Don't I have a card which duplicates my next card played? Oh yeah, it's this one. So that into greed, actually, that's what I was envisioning, right? Okay, let's get the demon strength up. Let's see what it is at now. Yeah, it's not there yet, but but if I turn this around somehow, I can duplicate it. So we would need to play... Okay, we are almost there. We play this. Okay, we play... That. Okay. Uh, for each 11, flip a turn cards, flip a card. Yeah, so we play this thing. I'm gonna flip everything in my hand, good. And now I can play I can play the hope into the greed strike here. And just like that we get all the cash. That's what that even Okay, duplicate, but then nothing to play it on. <laughs> That's funny, yo. Okay! Now we start uh, raining Brain from above. Okay, let's do hidden potential. So we draw more cards. Draw, draw more cards next round. And uh, where is my bombardment anyway? I don't have it in my hand. Yeah, I don't. That's fine though. We just end the turn here. Now it should be easy. We just bombard these. Right. Well, they do lots of damage though. That's not something I appreciate. Uh, what's this? Yeah, not really a fan of that. Okay, let's see. So we need armor. And we need lots of it. I can stun this thing. But I can also stun it after we do damage. Uh, I wonder, will this split it? No. There. Um, do I have the bombardment? No, that's the question. Duplicate every seventh maneuver played. Now, I could play this. But that's that doesn't feel good to me. We lose armor. But we will gain a lot of energy. I should probably like get my thing up first. There. So now I'm safe. Yeah, I guess I decided to go that route. Okay, I play this thing. Do I have the bombardment even? It should be somewhere here in my hand. Yeah, there it is. Okay. So now I need to like draw my shots. This probably does, yeah, this will split it. I wanna split it just yet. And I also need cards that I will be able to play, that's the thing. So I feel like almost as if... I need to play idea to get rid of my cards in my hand, and then... Uh, then play the arrow bag. And do the reins. Problem is, 
71 and 47 that's 118 in worst case scenario i'm gonna lose like a little bit of hp here doesn't seem too bad yeah i think that's all right so we flip stuff around actually first get bonus damage Ooh. yeah sure there let me play stunning idea okay we have two hiddens potentials do we play them now or do we save them for next round i think we play them now because now like all hell's gonna break loose oh also i cannot even draw extra cards because i don't have the the thing so i actually do need to play it this way okay can i draw extra cards i can so now i can dump my hand and then Draw Shot of Hope and Shot of Destiny and then use that to rain down Havoc. How much is this? I mean, yeah, that dumb down one shot stinks. Okay. I mean, I could also just play this and one shot one of these two with that. I shouldn't, I didn't need to do all of that, but it's okay, it's okay. So play this thing. Oh no! That was also a maneuver. Oh boy. I forgot. And well. Okay guys, do your thing. Ugh. That was silly. <laughs> I planned everything out. I should have just played this thing. Yeah. Okay, uh, so now for the next turn, I mean, I want to draw, right? So let's not play anything right now. Okay. So again, I could just play it if I have it, which I don't, that's fine. So now we just defend, I guess. 60, that's enough, just end the turn. We do it next run. I mean, my armor is going up every turn, so I don't worry too much. I just play bombardment. And some of these enemies have like a lot of HP. I don't know. Turns out that was good enough. I want to be careful. I want my hidden potentials to be on this side up for the next fight. So I have to be careful about that. Let's do it like this. And then the next round. Okay, I could heal actually. Mm. Okay, now we draw a whole bunch of cards. Okay, let's see. Uh, okay, I have one. I have Molt Exhaust in hand. Okay, so we do this. Turn all of this around. Good. And then we do the bombardment. Oh. Duplicate every seventh card played. So I could get one energy here if I want to. Yeah, sure. There we go. And we do the bombardment, I guess. And next turn we draw like what? Uh, four. Twelve cards extra. Oh yeah, I don't actually have the... Doesn't matter. There we go. So will this give me like extra items? I hope so. This would be insane. If for every kill I'm doing with the bombardment, I get an extra item, that's gonna be pretty crazy. I guess it's 9 cards, not 10, but that's okay. More of these, please, game. Oh, we're gonna get a little bit of damage here. Okay. Um, I kinda wanna play that. To heal. It's gonna cost 1. It's not super expensive. there um okay yeah i think we play bombardment here right what's this duplicate every seventh maneuver card played okay well i need some more arrows oh, there's just a returning shot there okay let's just do this 
Okay. For each 11 maneuver cards played, flip everything around. So if I play this, then this one's gonna be flipped on the wrong side. That's okay now. Not draw more cards next round, which is good. I mean, you know what I'm thinking here. Let's draw two toxic shots. Do I have room for them though? I do. Okay. And okay, this is on the wrong, right side up. This one's not. I don't think we are finishing the fight here, right? Let's play this thing. Okay, let's flip them around. Bam. And let's play the the auto shower, whatever it is. Vicious bombardment. Multi shot runners for plus 75 damage. Yep. There we go. And then oh, I still have my returning shot. Okay, returning shot's really good together with bombardment. That's pretty cool. I can just use bombardment to like play my returning shot. That's kind of really nice. Okay. Hidden potential. Uh, duplicate every seventh card played. Sure, why not? And then we can play it once more. Okay. And I guess I can play the stunning idea here. I have enough barrier and everything. There. Okay, and I can do the shower again if I have it. I should. Let's just find it. Two, four, six. No, wait. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. 15. So fifteen is the maximum amount of cards in hand. Let's keep that in mind. Okay. Um, I think I'll flip everything around. There we go. Get the hidden potential. So let's some extra bonus on this card. Okay. Okay, I can use this to play the bombarding shot again, should I? I could. I mean, I can also play hidden potential and then hidden potential. And now when I play this, they're gonna get flipped. Oh, actually, let's play this first. Just in case, I want them flipped. Because I'm not sure if the fight will end here and if the flip will count, which would be a disaster for the next one. Okay, I can play. Uh, bam! Okay, so how many items do we get? <laughs> so let's be think. If only the small ones count, that's eight. But if the bigger ones count also, that would be like. Fourteen? Well, that's definitely a lot of items. One, two, four, five, six, eight. So only the small ones count. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. So only the small ones counted because the big ones turn into small ones, I guess. Okay. And we didn't get anything from the fight then. We only got the random items. But this is this is a lot of items. I'm happy. Um. So it was all worth it. Gain 25 armor and 25% damage for 2 turns, that's kind of cool. All enemies lose 25 armor and 25% damage for 2 turns. Okay, this, 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 why is this card so good? It seems pretty powerful. It's like a really good tempo card. It's not good for the infinite combo, so I'm not gonna grab it, don't worry, but... Draw 2 arrows, gain 50 barrier, now this is really good, better than my Cleaver, but... Finishing touches, draw 1 finishing shot. And the finishing shot. Yeah. So these are not good. I could re-roll if I wanted. It's a little bit expensive, but I think I have everything I need, so there's really no reason to greet here and pay a whole bunch of money for, you know, stuff that... No, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. Pick a new passive skill. If you place more than seven maneuver this turn, gain one energy next turn. That's really good. That's usually what happens anyway. Uh, years of experience increase your health by 40. Now this might be useful actually, so I don't have to be so worried. After playing four arrows in a turn, draw one maneuver. Hidden pockets. Uh, I don't think I really need this, although it's kind of really cool. 
I think I just go with years of experience just to become a little bit beefier. So I don't have to tremble that much. Although, you know, 40 HP, that's really not... That's, you know, that's not gonna save me if things go super bad. Hello there, Mr. Beggars, what's up? Can I interact with you? Okay, I can. You find a group of men sitting around a campfire. Come, join us. We don't have much, but we'll share all we can with a fellow poor soul. Not sure why this is not uh, voice acted. Usually everything is in this game. Turn your deck into junk. Effect, pick cards. Take some items, most likely junk. Oh, dude, I'm not gonna turn my deck into junk, but that sounds super fun. My friend told me that if I ever run into a group of people to... And if I can choose this, that it's a super fun option and like it would be like interesting to play. But I have a deck set up for like unlimited combo on the final boss. So it would be like really ridiculous for me to do this now. So I'm not going to do it. But yeah. And this one just says take some items. So we're going to take some items. Wolfberries. A handful of these can kill a human. Burned out weird candle, not useful anymore. Weird tainted meat. <laughs> Plus 10 HP, minus 5 maximum HP. Red mushroom, eating this seems dangerous. Severed food, no longer useful to its previous owner. Severed food, no longer useful to its previous owner. Weird tainted meat. Red mushroom, I then dented white flour. Its sweet scent causes unnatural dizziness. And some weird tainted meat. Okay. Like, these are weird beggars. Usually beggars, like, ask for items from you, not the other way around, so... That was kind of weird, indeed. Uh, so there's the boss fight. What's this? Okay. I feel like doing this fight. Um... 27 minutes. Okay, I hate the fact how slow this is going, but I am also super happy about all the stuff that we are accumulating. So, yeah, just kind of have to bear it with me. Those who are still watching the series anyway. So, we got, like, like some really silly stuff here. Like, things that... So, there is a weirdness mushroom. Nobody knows what will happen after eating one. And then there is a red mushroom. Eating this seems dangerous. And, yeah, we're not going to be eating that. So, yeah. But anyway, I am super happy with all the items and gold I'm getting. Look at that, almost 4k again, so not much to complain there. Maybe if we can do a fast fight the next episode, we can do another one. But like, I wouldn't rush it. I wouldn't rush it. <sighs> now we have more HP, but still, I wouldn't rush it. So, hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. I wish you all to have a wonderful day. Do something nice, be kind to each other, and let's make the world a better place together. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next episode of Tainted Grail Conquest. The Niamh are signing out. Bye bye.